Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to start this yet, but apparently I'm starting. Hi, I'm using this vlog to make up for the fact that I didn't upload a video today. Um, because your girl's a dumb bitch who didn't upload every, well, not upload, but like record enough stuff before I started my work week. And then I was at work from like 9.30 in the morning to fucking midnight, and it sucked dick. But because of this, we have a special guest. It's my cat. Say hello, Sabrina. She's just like, leave me alone. So, so, so instead, what's gonna be happening is I'm just gonna be chatting with you about my work because uh, I have a very interesting job now. I was dog walking and catering, but now uh, I work at a sex shop, so I sell adult toys and shit. And uh, it's not as bad as you would think at all. Like, it's actually a lot of fun. It's just there's certain people that come in that make me want to kill myself. Um, so quick thing, uh, quick thing to note, I do not smoke whatsoever. Uh, so I don't understand how all that works. I had a guy come in yesterday, we spoke very little English, like we had to use Google Translate at one point just to figure out what the fuck was going on. And, um, and I had a guy with broken English that wanted to buy the flower, which is what you smoke. And so somehow, I'm not sure how this happens still, it still baffles me, uh, even now, like 24 hours later, but I somehow explained to him how to smoke it, even though, and like what it was and everything. I'm not sure how I did it. It, it just happened. It took about half an hour, but it happened. It was great. Um, he eventually bought the product, which was nice. So, you know, I get commissions for that shit. That was a great time. And they also had a couple that came in. That was, the girl was like, I want to buy something. And the guy's like, okay, pick out what you want to buy. And she's like, I don't know. And they spent like fucking hour in the store and maybe want to kill myself because they kept asking questions and they wanted to like try all the products. And I was like, please, I can't do this. Like I want to die. But plus side, my amazing boyfriend bought, brought me food. He brought me, he, he made food and brought me extra. And I was so happy. It was like so great. Because I was dead on the inside by, like, 8 o'clock that night. <laughs> but, like, I'm going to have so much time to catch up on my shows. As soon as I get, you know, uh, unlimited data. Because I don't right now. And please don't judge me for that. What else? What else? What else? Oh, um, so, you know, I do a shit ton of Perla Beat art. Um, and it's raining today. But I need to go buy some colors. So my mom's like, oh, just go on Amazon. And I was like, you know what, why not? Let's go Amazon some of these, like, you know, I feel like it'll help me out a lot and I won't, like, have to deal with the struggle of, okay, like, is this what I need? Is this what I need? I can literally just look at what I have in my bag. This is the earliest, the latest that things are coming in are the 30th. And yes, I do have Amazon Prime. It's depressing. So I want to kill myself now because that means... I'm very limited on what I can make until certain things come in. Like I know for actually a majority of my stuff I can't make because I use black beads as the um, the base. Like I, I I love designs that do out that have outlines. I love them because I can just do the outline first, do the details second, and then fill it in, and it's great. Like for instance. This girl right here, Sabrina, shut up. This girl right here, rose quartz. Basically, all this black I did first, because, you know, outline. I did all the darker pink, which you can't, or lighter pink, I guess. You can't exactly see. You can see a little bit of it here. Light, lighter pink, and then I just filled in everything. It was amazing. Also, I changed out my box. I have a new box now. No, don't go to the box, Sabrina. Fuck off. Fuck off on my stuff. She's so annoying. She slept on my pillow last night. It was so annoying. Um, there was something else that happened at the, at the shop that I wanted to talk about. Oh, oh, no. Okay, so this happened at a CVS. It was like me and like the employee and like this, this couple with their kid. I just want to tell this story because uh, I still can't believe this happened. All right, so quick backstory. Um, I don't know enough about reparations to have an opinion on it. So if any someone, if any time someone asks, I say I have no opinion because I don't have enough of, I don't have enough information. I don't want to, 
I'd rather have no opinion than an uninformed one, to be honest. Um, that's my opinion. Um, that's just my views on things. So, I'm at the CVS, and uh, it's like this Indian guy who's, who's working there. I think he was Indian. Sorry if he's not. Um, he never actually said, even though this black guy, and the only reason it's important is because of what happens next, I promise. So this black guy is asking him, like, hey, so where are you from? Like, where are you from? Like, bothering him, and actually said, word for word, I'm gonna get this man on camera. So already, I'm like, shit, trouble spewing. I just wanna buy some cheap wine today and go home. Like, that's all I want. Uh, so, you know, cause I, I've basically been working for three days straight at that point, from about, 9.30 to, well, no, that, I, I've, I've basically been, like, getting up early and working for, like, three days straight in a row. I was not happy. Uh, no, that was my fourth day in a row. That was my fourth day. So, so, yeah, so he's doing all that. Eventually, I find what I want. I go to pay, and the guy starts asking me, hey, so what's your opinion on reparations? And I'm just like, you know, I have no opinion. Because, as I said before, in my little, like, hey, information, uh, is, hey, like, I don't want to have an uninformed opinion rather than no opinion. I'd rather have no opinion than an uninformed one. So then he's like, oh, so you don't mind that my people basically did this and this and this, uh, died and all that. Uh, women were raped, like, just so you can walk around uh, without any worries. Um... And then he's like, you know who built America? And at this point, so quick thing, I'm not 100% Czech, okay? I'm only part Czech. Um, my great-grandparents have immigrated from the Czech Republic. Um, so, you know, I decided to use that to my favor. And hope I was like hoping that he knew enough about like history to know that the Czech people kind of have nothing to do with any of the shit he's talking about. So I decided to pull that card and be like, sir, I'm Czech. Like, I ain't American. Hoping that he would leave me alone. Boy, was I mistaken. He was like, oh, you Europeans are worse. And I was like, fucking hell. So he's like, so what's your opinion on reparations? And he literally just kept asking me this and keep trying to guilt trip me. And I'm just sitting there being like... I just want my cheap wine to go home. So I tell him, I'm just like, yo, like me and this guy are trying to have, a, like me and this, this cashier are trying to like have a transaction during this entire encounter, which I thought, I find it really funny. Like both of us were doing our best to ignore him until it got to the point what, and until the, the point where the guy was like, this racist bitch is like, this racist white girl or racist white bitch, one of the two, it's been two days and I'm tired. Um, either way, he called me racist. Um, he, um is ignoring me and to which I was like no like I already told you my I already told you I have no opinion and you're just trying to get a reaction out of me so I'm just ignoring you now and he's like a reaction no I'm asking you a question to which at that point I'm just like fuck this thank you have a nice day because I knew if I stayed there any longer I would have flipped shit and I didn't know if the girlfriend was recording or not whatsoever I didn't want to become the next barbecue Becky and be like blasted on Twitter because some guy decided to fucking harass me. It was the craziest shit. And like, it was funny because he's like, oh, you get to walk around here with no worries. And I'm like, nah, fam, I get to worry about assholes like you who decided to start bothering me. Like, I was afraid of those people, of those people actually following me outside of the store and continuing to harass me. It was the craziest shit. And so like, I haven't had the chance to actually look up reparations since this incident happened. Um, not, th not because I haven't been wanting to, just because I've just been busy. Like, come on, give me some slack. Um, but I've been meaning to just so that if it happens again, I can give a proper answer and uh, not want to shank a bitch because I was so ready to just go off on that man and just be like, bruh, like... <laughs> Like, you're the one who's harassing me. I've done nothing to you. I'm just existing. It was it was just the craziest thing. I just want to tell that story because I'm just like, people are wild. And, like, I'm all for, like, disruptive protesting, like, 100%. Like, disrupting people's daily lives to protest. But, like, if it's 
just a chick and a cashier who just want to go about their day and they answer your fucking question, leave them the fuck alone because then you're just harassing someone. You're not protesting anything. You ain't being a social justice warrior or anything. You're just being a dick. Like, there is a difference between disruptive protesting and being a dick. And that guy was just a dick. All right, like straight up. Like that guy, his kid's gonna grow up to be a dick because his kid even was just like, get a reaction when I said that. And I was just like, well, you're a little shit, so fuck you. <laughs> there was so many things I wanted to say in that situation, but I just didn't want to because I'm a white girl. I'm the racist white bitch. All right, like there's so many things I can say that there's only so many things I can say that if it end up on camera, uh, everyone would look at that one clip and say, oh, this bitch is racist, when, no, that's not who I am at all. Like, I don't even really even know how I, what I can say to defend myself against that. Beyond, you know, I always stand up for, against my parents. Um, like when my parents say something that's, you know, insensitive, or they sound insensitive, I always kind of stand up and be like, hey, like, that's not cool. Like, it's pronounced like this, or like, that's just not okay. I always do that shit with my family. But yeah, so that was my tangent. Sorry this video is so long. I'm, make, I'm using this video to make up for not having a video on Wednesday. Um, which if you made it to the end of this video, and thank you if you did, uh, I'm gonna be streaming today, actually, after this video goes up. So, come hang out, it's gonna be a great time. Alright. Sorry about this again. Bye, lovelies! <laughs>